Hey guys, I'm here with the review for Goose Creek's Cabin in the Woods. This is one of the new fall scents that came out this year uh, from Goose Creek. It came out along with the peanut butter sugar, the vanilla pumpkin waffle, and carrot cake and the like. So I will start off by reading the description. This warm woody blend of autumn citrus, sheer spice, aged oak, and white cedar delights and intrigues the senses. Nuances of amber, sandalwood, and cream are added to the base, creating fragrance that is truly intoxicating. So this is a 22 ounce large jar in the paraffin wax. And we will start out talking about the burn. So the burn has been really good on this candle. I have had really no problems at all. This is one of the few candles I've had that has been really, actually really good. So far, it hasn't had any kind of puny wicks or anything. It's been doing really well. I'll show you the burn here. This is, I think, I am not, I lost track of the burns. This is probably, I've been burning this for like a week or so, maybe a little bit longer. So it might be like the sixth or seventh burn. And it's doing really well now. The flames are nice, got a good nice wax pool. It's, you can see the wax pool is kind of dark, but it's about down to there. So it's doing really well. So, so far so good. So you definitely stay tuned to my empties video though to make sure that it continued that way because sometimes it can change a little bit towards the end. But so far, is doing really really good on the burn and next we'll talk about the scent I love this scent this scent is so good it's like right up my alley it's a woodsy scent if you like woodsy scents and like um, outdoorsy kind of scents it's I think you would like this it's not cologne at all by any means that it's just pretty much a woodsy type of scent the one well actually the two scents I pick up the most are would be the oak and the cedar that aged oak and the white cedar that they mentioned, that is pretty much what the main things I smell in that, the oak and cedar. Um, and then it has a, it mentions citrus, citrus and spice. I do kind of get little hints of that, but very, you know, real light is kind of in the background, that slight citrus and spice. It's definitely not like a spicy candle or like a citrusy kind of candle, but that it's kind of blended in there, I think, because I'm getting slight little hints of that in there. And then also amber and sandalwood. Those are actually really prominent in there as well. I definitely get a little bit of amber and I get a little bit of sandalwood in there as well. They're all, all the scents are kind of mixing in really well. And then it, it does have a, just a slight hint of cream, just kind of just to balance that all out, maybe tone that woodsiness down just a slight bit. It Goose Creek's in their scent descriptions, usually they're pretty well, uh, a lot of the scents descriptions and their scents for their candles, they all are really well, really well in there. They blend really, really well together and balance all those scents out together and come together really nice. That's really what I like about Goose Creek. They, they do that really, really well. And this one, like I said, had says it has citrus in there, and I do get a slight hint of that. Usually, sometimes they will say citrus. They'll throw that note in there a lot in some of their candles, and lots of times I don't get that citrus note in there. But this one I kind of do. I get a little hint of that citrus note in there. But not not a lot, but just a little bit. So this one is just really, it's just like a nice, it does smell like, like a cabin in the woods would be. You would get like definitely, you know, the oak and the cedar. And then just like it has like an outdoorsy scent. Just, just like what the outdoors would smell like. Kind of the freshness, the, uh, the wood of, of the cabin and like the wood of like the trees outside. It's very, very nice. It's, it comes together really, really nice. Nice. I just love this scent so much. It's really, really nice. And next it brings me to the throw. The throw has been really good as well. I would rate it about an eight out of 10 on the scent throw. It's been filling up the bedroom so nice. I didn't take it into the living room though. I should have done that, but I usually do that, but I didn't do it with this one. I've been enjoying this so much in the bedroom. I just, I wanted to keep it in here. It's been, it's just a really nice bedroom scent too, I think. It'd probably be okay in the living room as well, but it's really nice, calm, relaxing in the bedroom. Just just a really good scent for the bedroom, I think. So 
I've kept it back here and it's been filling up the bedroom. Each time I've lit it, I can smell it. Within minutes, I can start smelling it and it's just, it, it's been scented all the way through so far and it's just a little bit less than half done. And I've had no problems with the throw at all. It's been throwing the whole candle. So that has been really, really incredible because sometimes it's, you know that that's hard to do these days to have a candle that scents all the way through. So overall, I would rate this candle definitely a plus. I would definitely recommend it. I'm in really, really happy with this. If you like um, outdoorsy, kind of woodsy scents, I think you would really like this. It also kind of reminds me a little bit of Ski Lodge from Bath & Body Works. It's very similar to that, and I loved that candle as well, too. So if you like Ski Lodge, I think you would like this candle. So that is my review for Goose Creek's Cabin in the Woods. Please comment and let me know if you've had this candle and if you liked it and how it performed for you. And subscribe for more videos, hauls, reviews, and blogs. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.